Hello everybody. Okay, it's been about a month, minus three days, that I have made a video. So I thought I would make a video. And this is what I was working on. Um, I feel that it's very important for me to do a couple of things with the engine coming up. Um, number one, there's going to be a lot of stuff coming up. <laughs> I just bought a book, Mathematics for 3D Game Programming and Computer Graphics, and it's very uh, nerdy and it's putting me in the mood to do a lot of stuff. And also this simple illustration right here, I decided to go ahead and go on to Learn OpenGL. And I, I went through this text rendering. If you drop down here to In Practice, Text Rendering, and you go through it, it kind of tells you a little bit of how to do text rendering and what to do and why and and uh, some best best practices. and. Then it in introduces you to FreeType, the FreeType library, which is really cool, actually. Um, so you have to download it and do some stuff and everything. But basically, um, uh, what I did was I went ahead and copied and pasted the code. Okay, and now I'm not, I'm not exactly using um, the code verbatim because I copied and pasted it in, and it did not work. Okay, so there's a few things that we had to change. Uh, number one was to put, uh, see, they use glue. See, because the Learn OpenGL, he, he did all of his tutorials under glue, and then he went back and redid his tutorials for GLAD. Okay, so you're, what you're going to want to do is either use glue, <laughs> which I didn't want to do, so just put in GLAD. Um, which is all you have to do is put in the include files for glad instead of glue and then just come down here to right after the GL make current context window and then you replace the glue initialization function with glad that loads all OpenGL function pointers okay and then once you do that you should be good with glad <laughs> okay and then the other major problem that I ran into was the shader um, class because as I said initially he did his tutorial with a shader class okay well if you go back to the actual shader tutorial the very first one and you copy the shader class you notice the file name is shader underscore s dot h so that's what I did um, so I basically copied it and pasted it and put it into my own um, where did it go where is it at It's in here, so it's shader underscore s, okay, and I've actually got it, I think, up here, yeah. So I copied it into here, and it uses glad, which is, I'm glad. <laughs> the only difference also is the ID, okay, so as you're going through your code, you're going to notice errors for ID or program. So what you want to do is change that to shader.id instead of shader.program. And then the use function is actually capitalized in the initial source code, but in the actual um, class, it's not capitalized. So you can either change the class or change the code, whatever you want to do, because uh, it's not capitalized there. So I didn't, I had to just, yeah, that was it. And then um, the only other thing was to make sure to put your shaders in an actual folder. So, and then copy and paste them from the example in the text rendering. So I put the shaders in here, and then I put the fonts in here, which I actually just copied this one file from Windows C, and you go to Windows, you go to Fonts, and you copy, you can copy any one of these, but there's like five files per per one. So when you copy one, you, you get like five files, which is kind of um, bizarre. And oh, why does it do that again? Okay, Microsoft, <gasps> anyways. <coughs> Okay, so then you should be pretty close to ready to go. I can't remember if there's anything else that's up there. Oh yeah, yeah. The func the um, there was a, there were a few instances where main was returning uh, nothing, and it's declared as an integer return. So you have to set it to return zero or one or whatever you want. It doesn't even matter really. And um, let's see. I can't think there was anything else. There wasn't really anything else. This compiled for me after like 20 minutes of uh, figuring this out. So this is what it looks like. And then I'm going to go ahead and integrate this with my engine. 
and then once I have that I will be a happy happy camper um, it's not gonna be that easy but it will be relatively simple and straightforward so I'll probably post a video on that too not tonight because I'm going to bed uh, probably um, but probably tomorrow because I think tomorrow yeah I go to work an hour early so I work at 3 and then I'll get off work at 11 so anyways thanks for watching be sure to like and subscribe and yes sometimes we do psychedelic things with OBS because my actual second monitor is not working at the moment but I'll get that fixed <laughs>